Phil, let's talk about the Dead Space remake since it's out in a couple of days. Specifically, I wanted to talk about the most notable changes I have heard that are coming to the game. Again, I haven't played the original, and it's so iconic to survival horror. So I'm looking forward to the experience after the Callisto Protocol. Hit me up with some tips in the comments, but please, no spoilers. Uh, so these are in no particular order here. So first of all, Isaac uh, is no longer a silent protagonist. Uh, the same voice actor from Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3 is coming back to do the voice acting for the remake, which is good. Um, I'm not sure why our protagonist in Souls games have ne has never had a voice. Maybe someday. Um, anyway, uh, the next thing would be the whole game is one continuous shot and... Uh, there are no load loading times. Now, that is something that is impressive to me. Uh, it definitely impressed me when I played God of War 2018. Um, that level of immersion that you get from that is, uh, is just top-notch. And the fact that uh, there are no load times uh, is pretty impressive considering God of War, uh, you know, the load times were, you know, going through the, the world tree and whatnot. Um, so that would probably signify why this game is going to be current gen only uh, consoles. Um, so next thing, the USG Ishimura is not separated into levels or chapters. Um, the entire ship is seamless. So this will make backtracking easier. And speaking of that, there should be a fair amount of backtracking as there are new rooms apparently and locations and some of those will be locked behind higher clearance that we'll need to get as we progress through the game, which is pretty cool. Almost kind of like a Metroidvania, if you will, but obviously nothing like that. Um, next thing would be in terms of the story, uh, the game will feature optional side quests with new story content. This will allow the story to be expanded further on some of the characters and developers have said that there will be an alternate ending as well. Uh, so you can either, you know, if you're going for the platinum, you can either save scum or do an additional playthrough, get that alternate ending. Um, and I appreciate the fact that they're expanding the story. I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I may at some point go back and play the original dead space after I play the remake. Um, I know that's kind of backwards, but uh, I know it's on Xbox Game Pass right now. I believe all three of them are. Um, so next would be that there are apparently uh, weapon changes, uh, such as uh, special upgrades and nodes and alternative, alternative fire modes. Um, these include uh, proximity mines and gravity wells, which is pretty cool. Um, I am excited to play around with all the weapons. I know... Um, there are quite a few, I believe. Uh, and I know there's also a telekinesis thing, almost like the grip in uh, Callisto Protocol. So it'd be cool to play around with uh, the myriad of weapons that we'll have at our disposal. Um, the map is going to be 2D, I guess, as opposed to 3D uh, in the original game. And apparently some uh, additional detail has gone into that uh, to make it uh, a lot easier to see what you're looking at. Um, I guess also several sections have zero gravity, and in these sections we'll have full 360 control. Um, now, I believe in the original you had to jump from point to point. Um, if I have that wrong, you know, someone can certainly correct me in the comments. Um, this will essentially lead to uh, to different and new paths you can take, I would assume, and uh, get new loot and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, the next thing, uh, circuit breakers apparently come up occasionally where you need to reroute power from one section to another. Uh, some of these decisions you may have to make might include, um, in, might include playing through a section without lights or oxygen, which, uh, that's kind of interesting. I honestly, 
I personally, I might go without the lights uh, so that I'm not rushing through, you know, searching for oxygen containers or however you refill your oxygen, um, you know, and I can kind of explore and uh, get the loot. But at the same time, it's going to be dark and probably going to shit my pants getting uh, jump scared. But anyway, we'll, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, the next thing and last thing. Uh, and I believe I've mentioned this before. Uh, there is an intensity director, which is basically like AI in the game. Uh, this dynamically creates events or combination of events to keep you on your toes. Um, there are over 1,200 of these events, which include lighting changes, fog, enemy spawns, etc. Now, I've said it before. I mean, that just sounds amazing and frightening at the same time. Uh, it's going to keep that constant state of tension. And, um, you know, going back to the Callisto protocol, I remember going through the, the area with the, the blind enemies, you know, creeping around because, uh, I felt that, you know, if you just blasted through a, you were going to waste your ammo and B, um, you know, you're going to get swarmed by, by those dudes. So that, that section was a little tension filled for me anyway. That is about it that I have heard of that will be, you know, changes and quality of life improvements to the to the game. Uh, if you guys have heard anything else, feel free to comment. Let me know. And also, like I said, uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments with any tips going into the, the Let's Play series on Friday for the remake. And I will see you soon for that. So stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.